Good evening, YouTubers. I'm down here for another night hike and adventure. I need your guys' help. See anything, hear anything. You guys gotta drop it in a comment right off the bat. We're hearing a noise over here. I do have help with me tonight. I have my IR camera operator, John, over here. Just say hi. How's it going? Oh, gosh, we got something moving over here. I hear it. I got the thermal camera and the regular camera on it. And we're hearing something, but it's not picking up on the thermal. All right, here, I'll turn, turn that away. Are you picking anything up on IR? I don't have anything on IR. Okay. Doesn't sound too big, though. So, no, it's just making some noise. Yeah. There's a lot of small critters down here, too. So, uh, I ran across the cat pulling in. Um, where we're at area with a lot of activity we haven't i haven't been to in over a month uh we were down at camp pete and uh things are much more grown up since the last time uh the leaves and everything with since i was down here last uh, but i do we're stacked with much more equipment and i need a second person to operate so i got thermal and I are operating along with the regular camera. Okay. Let's see if, uh, oh, hold on a second. My camera is wanting to, there we go. It locked into a mode. So, um, if you know, this place is always teeming with wildlife but we're so we're on the lookout for the prey animals as well but a big thing we are looking for the predator activity um, and one big thing we're looking for is from a viewer that claimed he ran into some weird dog-like creatures. And uh, we're looking to see if we have anything like that. We can find, uh, I have run into koi wolves down here. And again, this is also testing some of the new equipment I got here. And just, I have a new setup. Got a beautiful night. Temperatures are in the low, low 60s and very little winds. The winds are light. I'm hearing some booms. I don't know if somebody's setting off fireworks. I think this is fireworks season, season yet. So I'm trying to, I do have both the thermal and the IR on. And I'm hearing some noises over here too. So I am trying to hit record. Okay, there we go. So I have both thermal and the regular camera. I got them recording. I just heard something over here. So I'm trying to keep an eye on two cameras and then we have an IR one. Yeah, that's somebody shooting off fireworks. Sounds like it's south of here, south uh, east of here. Now this hike is a, a down and back hike and it's been the back uh, that has been the most eventful. Uh, 
last time I was here, I had a deer run right in front of me and go straight up this hill right over here. And that's a heck of a climb. Well, I can tell you the thermal does pick up things pretty good through here. But I start looking at the thermal instead of watching the path. And I start to wander off the path. So last time I was down here, I could literally see all the way to the river. And now you can see, what, maybe 20, 30 feet in. And that's about it. The IR lets me see a little deeper. Huh. So, this area I'm checking, I have in the past seen quite a few animals over here. But it seems like it's always on the return part of the hike. deer ran right out in front of me and straight up that hill and I couldn't even tell what the heck scared the heck out of me. <laughs> that, well, especially since the deer is so much bigger than, you know, yeah. some other small But deer. like, that's a heck of a climb up there. You know, they're going to make a lot, yeah, it's, it's steep. I noticed that this takes a little bit of time to react and the bugs show up real good on this. Oh, okay. And bugs are not too bad down here. Um, again, uh, like the last time I was down here, I didn't hear one frog the whole time. And this is like a swampy area where you'd think you would be hearing them. We got no frogs at all. A few moths. Yeah, they're set, somebody's setting off fireworks. And you can hear the I-90 traffic in the background. So I am trying to scan and check both cameras. So just so you know, for my thermal, I have it in what's called uh, black hot. So. The black things, the black items will show hot, white, white will show cold. And walk through the spider web. Yeah, try and check up. Uh, oh, got a, and there goes the camera. Okay, yeah, I mean, literally, like, the whole thing popped off. Yep. So. You can see the pavilion. Yeah. I got this so it'll slide in here. I just had to, that's why I'm like, this is like checking equipment here. Oh, I see. It's got, like, a double. Yeah. Double knurled knob. Yeah, and it's a little bit of an issue trying to work that, and it freaking pulled um, on my light, which seems to be running, runs out of battery uh, too quick. I actually got a, a battery charging cord connecting to it to try and make the light last longer. Uh, just for some reason is not working well. 
that off. Yeah, that's us straight ahead. Okay. We got the, the reflection. Yeah. That comes in pretty good on that. Yes, huh? yes it does. This out over here is a, one of the areas. Okay. I don't know what has happened to this, but we literally got to. I don't. I got to shut it down. I would, yeah, restart it. Yeah. So the thermal is messed up from the drop. Okay. And it's got to be shut down. I don't know what happened there. Could be anything. Okay. This little area over here, I've run across quite a few animals, including had a rock thrown at me over here. Okay. So the good part about the uh, thermal camera is it's real easy to snip together. It loads real quick. And it doesn't want to record it only wants to snap pictures did it, correct itself? it did okay, good. but it's now not wanting to uh, having to switch hands okay it's wanting to snap pictures when I'm wanting it to record so, right. so there we go it just didn't want to do it for the left hand it only wanted to move for the right hand okay you have anything Anything? No, just dust. Dust okay. and bugs. Now when we get back straight over here, back a little ways, mm -hmm. uh, to our right, I've several times have caught and the eye shine has been like 60 feet up in the trees, I shall I believe, or owls. Okay. Uh, so I've several times caught that. I had one swoop over my head too, and I'm, I mean like right over top of my head. An owl? Yeah, had to have been with some kind of large bird. I could hear the flapping and everything. Well, some, that can be pretty loud as well. It was, uh, well, it scared the heck out of me. Because then I was right over about here and I spotted the eye shine over in the tree line and then had a rock thrown at me because the eye shine was about eight to 10 feet in the air. Where did you see the wolves? That was back over that way, and it was on the return hike. Gotcha. Do you remember about what time? Night? Uh, it would be uh, probably pretty similar, because okay. I go, I try to go late. I try to make sure enough, you know, I don't like running across people. Mm -hmm. Even though in the, where we're parked, I see this is picking up the uh the outhouse is giving off heat <laughs> okay and like i gotta say a couple of my viewers uh from oklahoma uh hattie and erica when i say the the bathroom is giving off heat it's probably because they uh they like to destroy um toilets so i think they may have something to do with that <laughs> And uh, when you're while you're scanning ahead, I'll try and scan to the side. And it was once we got over here where I started to have something uh, pace me in the woods. I was standing in the wood lines back, and I was catching the eye shine on it. I know quite a bit of stuff happened when I've been back here. This is where I had like bones on the return hike. The bones were across the path and then in, uh, there was ones in the trees that weren't there on the way in. So. Uh, I'm trying to 
trying to uh, see if this can uh, catch anything. These, this is now that everything's grown up is very thick. It's real difficult to try and uh, catch a. any eye shine with how thick this is and uh, I'd say the woods probably run probably 60 70 yards until they hit the creek so it's kind of it's kind of deep got anything no just bugs just bugs <laughs> And it's quiet down here. There is not a not a thing going on. Like there's no breeze. There's not like a rustling of the trees at all. Dead quiet. Perfect night. Thought I seen something up. A flicker or something up there. That showed, that was like with my own eyes I seen that because I was looking above the camera. Yeah. So, I'm not sure how my new setup is going to work here. Or, This is where one of the campsites are, is back here. test the stuff and play around with it at the house and it's not a good not really a good simulation for the for the hike other things one of my listeners caught on uh, my hike back here where I had the rock thrown at me mm -hmm. caught some growls too that I didn't hear with my ears low frequency I guess they pick, I picked up on camera and I didn't hear it mm. which is weird <laughs> nonetheless Yeah. Yeah, that's been there a while too. So this area up here is where I've seen owl several times. I always seen them back, but you can't see as far back as what you could the last time I was here. And the canopy's probably more developed. Oh yeah, way. Like I said, it was it's been over a month. And so I'm hoping maybe the thermal can pick up. See your breath. Yeah. 
I just, it's humid. The temperature must drop a little. We, well, we're in the low part. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I have happened back here, and I'm hoping maybe the thermal will pick that up. I'll hit these like hot and cold pockets back here. Mm. All of a sudden have like a warm mass of air It'll punch me in the, like just punch it right in the face. And then there'll be a cold, so you get hot and cold spots back here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard something move over there. Didn't This is so thick. The thermal can actually see a little further in than the cam than the, the main camera. But the main camera can't hardly see more than like in this spot here, more than 10 feet in. Uh, and uh, you have to, I mean, where there's these open spots here, I can see more in. We got what about a half moon out. Let's see if I can. You can see the half moon. Thought I heard a noise behind us there. Hmm. in the darn spider web on there. Jeez. Now we're over here's the remains. Yeah. The remains of the uh, old Camp, yeah, the old camp cabins from the camp that burned down. Yeah. Well, you have a better view of it than I do. This is the old remains. Yep, they left her. Somebody left their bottle of Coke there. They said it was a chimney fire for both of these cabinets. And we got the other one right over here. Thing. My base temperature is showing uh, in the 60s. Like the air temperature, I think the air temperature is uh, low 60s. I think it might have dropped in, it may have even dropped down into the upper 50s. They said it's supposed to uh, get foggy tonight. I believe it. So that's why, like, you see the moisture of your breath already. That's going to happen more. You know, see, somebody uh, came down here to enjoy the area and left their trash. This is so much thicker 
I've been coming down here all winter, all winter long, and uh, <laughs> it's been like clear. You can see all the way through. It made it hard for anything to hide. Um, that's the thing to adapt to from uh, watch you step on that log a log going across there. what's that? yep okay. that's why This one broke apart. <laughs> What's that? I said that one broke apart. You could zigzag through there. So this is another place where I can see through pretty well. But I can't. I'm not getting a heat signature, not getting nothing. And it's dead quiet. Yeah, you can, yes, you can really hear the highway. I mean, that's one, like, not even cloud, there's not even a cloud in the sky. Uh, Seeing a heat signature, but I actually think that might be something that's registering 75 degrees straight back. That dark spot there? Yeah. I think that looks like the shape of a deer. Is it moving? Okay, yeah, you can see the head on it. We definitely have something straight back here. Thermal's picking it up. Wouldn't be able to see it otherwise. I don't have anything on the night vision. It's, looks like it's the shape, I mean, on here it's the shape of the deer, the, the heat, the, this will record the hot part, the, it'll put a red dot on it, and it's literally going all over that, and reading, uh, reading much hotter than the rest of the area but it is so thick if you look like dude there is nowhere to go back there it's real thick and it's standing it's that it looks yes it's moving it is a deer do you hear it yep. hot dog that's a win for the thermal I cannot see it. I am it's off the thermal now. <sighs> A moth flying around me. I can't see it anymore. But I was able to pick it up with the thermal. So we have a deer back this way, and it looks solo, and I can't find any other ones. And a solo deer is odd. Unless it was a buck. Those are usually the only ones that go solo. So I definitely gotta put the uh, thermal clip on there. Okay, here we are. This is the cut? Yeah, this is the cut for the stream. Stream that cuts in here, a trip, a Conneaut Creek tributary. Here. Just so you can see what a person looks like on there. Like. Okay. So I'm 
hearing something moving through there, but I'm not picking up a thing. Well, that was interesting that Thermal was able to see that. This way through the cut. I mean, that is beautiful scenery. So, up through there. at least one thing that uh, we wouldn't have been able to see and I'd have heard a little rustling and would have seen nothing <laughs> if it weren't for the thermal. because the, uh, the reason I was able to find that is because it has that little sensor that records the hot temperature. So most of the time it's hitting on different trees. literally start looking at the both the cameras and forget to watch where I'm walking or to walk <laughs> so this was turned into a camp in the early 20s by the Pete family who had kept it wooded when they owned it. And so these woods, that's why you got giant trees like this one right here. Uh, Cause this place has been like untouched for like 120 plus years. This is rough here too, watch your step. Okay, this is a good shot into the woods here. There's a clear shot into here. But I'm not picking up, not picking up eye shine, not picking up heat signatures. Course is Connie. We're always going to pick up trains and train noises.
Well, at least when the uh, train's going, kind of muffles out the freeway sound. So. Okay. So I can see this ther the thermal is picking up things that definitely far back, further back than what I can see on the camera. This part of the path. I'm literally gonna go into the woods here because there's like. It's a, mm, I suppose we can stay on it. But, oh, I got eye shine dead ahead. Eye shine. Ah, oh, it took off. No, there it is. I got eye shine straight ahead here. Can you see it? Can you my, to my, I can see it with my naked eye, dude. Yeah. Look at that. That looks big. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm zoomed in on it as far as I can get. I could try the thermal. Oh, I can zoom in while I'm recording. But look at... It's picking it up on the thermal. I can see it with my own eyes. Yeah. Doesn't that look big? Uh, yeah. It, I, I can't get the light to penetrate any further. It's staring at it. We're having a staring contest with this. And I'm, sorry, I panned up higher to get the thermal on it. There it is. does. Uh, I'm gonna have to, when I get home, I'm gonna have to zoom in on that. Because we're like locked. It's staring at us. Let me move forward a little bit. Boy, that looks big. Whatever it is. The thermal's just spotting, uh, putting the dot on it. It's picking up the heat. But it's a little too far back for the thermal to record what it is. Man, it's big. Look at those eyes are big. I just wish this would zoom further. Okay, that's my next one I'm gonna get. I've seen there's a thing you can attach to uh, iPhones that will expand the view. Where'd it go? There it is. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm almost picking up what seems like a body on it. It looks that way in the night vision. Can you see anything? Yeah. Here, come on over. Hold on. Because let's try and see if we can figure out what this is. It's very hard to tell. I don't understand. Yeah, because on the thermal it's hard so to... If I, listen, if I lower my light, yeah. it looks red. Yeah. Um, but that could just be my hold on. That's that's me. Because yeah. that is my Yeah, you got the But it's still see? now I got the white light. There was that that red yeah. is my light. Hmm. Alright, 
we need to do an experiment. What's that? You gotta throw something. Okay, go ahead. I'm looking for something to throw. I'm gonna keep a... And I'm also looking for something that won't fall apart when I throw it. Okay. I'm gonna keep a lock on it, and maybe when I download the thermal and this video, I'll be able to zoom in on it. Yeah. Keep your light on it. Oh, it ran. And it took off. It's looking at us. It moved over a little there bit. It now it's moving. I got the movement. There it goes. Can you see what it is? No. It's behind a big tree now. There it is. Coming across. Hold up. I see it. Looks like a deer. You think so? I believe it is a deer. I think that was what I, I believe it caught. Is. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We can see it's it real it. good. <laughs> there. <laughs> there it goes. Huh. Okay, so we got a second deer. Yeah. There it goes. Looked like yeah. a big one though. Well, I mean, boy, did it not move. Yeah. It's a deer. Yeah, it's a deer in the headlights. Or you can see it clearly on that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a deer. Well, there was only one way to know, and that was it. Okay, let's find the path here. <laughs> well, I don't know what career in baseball I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that will put, you know. The... <laughs> Didn't go as far as I hoped. No, <laughs> didn't. Oh, man. But, jeez. <laughs> yeah, but, did the job. <laughs> Definitely did the job. Yeah. And that way we, you know, we know what it was. Okay, I got to, I still got this zoomed in. I got to. Okay, move ahead here. Okay. Okay. So we've caught in two deer. <laughs> That was a pretty good size one. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of time when I see the eye shine, uh, I mean, that's my first impression is that it's a deer, but I've learned don't say what it is because I've said some things were deer and then I get back and look on video and I'm like, that wasn't a deer. So. Same thing with some of the noises I've heard. Uh, two. I've said like, oh, that's this, and get back and it wasn't. Okay, I can see that's the property marker I see reflecting over in the distance here. That's the, that's the marker. So we'll go up at least to it and see. I know there's a path that takes you down by the creek. I'm gonna see if I can find that here. I think that's the path. Yeah. Okay, go on. I haven't actually done this one, this path uh, in the nighttime. I've always stayed on the main trail. OK, 
Okay, so, I mean, a good thing we caught the deer and we were able to identify it. Bad part, we made a bunch of noise and I don't know if we'll see anything else the rest of the night. But, literally the only way to figure out what it was and break the staring contest. So this should take us up by the water. <sighs> I think, and like I said, I don't think I've ever taken this path at night. I had a little bit of a hill. As you can see, this is definitely the path less traveled. And maybe... Okay. That freaking giant tree, look at this. Sucker with these freaking, I don't know, fungus growing off of it or whatever it is, but that sucker is huge. spider webs yeah. okay. Let's see if this, I mean, this path is supposed to go over. Yeah, I don't know. It's still a path, but. I'm just not exactly sure where it's supposed to take us over to the creek. It should be that way, though. Well. I think we probably explored down this way enough. I might as well turn around because that looks. Oh, I just didn't want you to turn around. Let's turn around and head back. what happened. The darn battery cord fell off. Alright. Okay. Ducked down way too low. So although we've had some uh beautiful hiking weather. I have kind of been unable to get out and enjoy it because of some of the back problems I have and because of the spinal injuries I get migraines and that from some of the concussions I sustained in my military service. Uh, and I've been dealing with a bout of that lately, which has kind of sidelined me from doing too much. And literally, I get 
uh, trying to get back out and do this here. It's like so far I feel pretty good, but it's like I wanted to have somebody with me. Uh, because uh, I'm just kind of unsure about myself right now with my condition. Definitely see your breath now. Jump on some of this. Deer. It ran away from us a little bit, but it wasn't like taking off that far. I wonder if we should uh, cut to those different trails once we get up here. Yeah, absolutely. Go in through the, uh, the campsites. Yeah. Go into the Yeah, and this path is always muddy, but I mean, oh, this, look at all them ants. You're over here. She ate Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> Shiitake mushrooms. I think they're carpenter ants, but I still don't want them on me. That's why I have someone with me here. I need backup protection from myself. Okay. Again, this return trip, put your ears on, your eyes peel. Uh, the return part has been historically when I'm back here where I run into things. for this my mucks are the best that's been the best money spent I 
I know. I it's always like almost straight up. It is. Like if that's what that deer ran straight up. Uh that's tough. Yeah. That is a tough uh climb. I don't know how it did it. Uh I know it made a lot of noise in the process, but that's a tough climb. If I had to do that in a hurry, if something was chasing me, I'd be dead. <laughs> so. <sighs> There's just some huge trees. I'm trying to catch some of the canopy with a uh, both the thermal and the camera. Now, over by the covered bridge, which is down a ways from here, there were some fishermen right when we started, because I actually like to start by the covered bridge, because I usually will catch some animals over there. There's three or four people over there fishing. Okay, going into the cut. Uh, so, okay, you were Navy. Did you have to do any land nav courses? No, nope, all we had to do was not drown. Yep. I had to, even though Air Force, I was on the ground, I had to do a lot of land nav courses. Uh, some people may think that doesn't make sense, but <laughs> yeah, I did. We had to learn all the geographic features and all that fun stuff. <laughs> not drowned <laughs> and learn how to fight fires right paint paint <laughs> well you're a nuclear engine operator you didn't you had enough to worry about with your main job these darn uh whole worms on here see that yeah Those are what make most of the darn webs. They're not actually spiders. I always say spider webs, and that's whatever those worms are. Oh, inch worms or... Yeah, it's, and it's so thick that a lot of my scanning is uh, mostly for the thermal. Ooh. Sounds like a cat. Don't it? Might be Bob cat. Yeah. Creek, and if it'd be on our side or the other, it's on the oh, we're, Well, it, it did, but it sounded like it was on this side because, like I said, we got close to a football field to the creek. Gotcha. Probably 60, uh, 60 to 70 yards. So it could have been right on the shoreline, even. corny facts. Most bobcats are not named Bob. All right. Oh, and the scientific term for a bobcat is a felis rufus. Okay, that's it. That's all I know. Z. 
view that those uh, Fisher cats, which are it could have been one of those. Those are more closely related to Wolverines. And what I hear, those things are like fearless. So are they in the badger family? Yeah. Well, they said uh, they said they're Wolverine. So I don't know. Wolverines are kind of in the badger. Wolverines are kind of in a way related to them. So I did. I did find out from a uh, Pennsylvania guy I was talking to. The Fisher cats are only back here. As I said they went extinct here in the early 1800s. Mm -hmm. uh, they are only back here because of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has actually brought them over. Did they go extinct because they were trapped, or was there mm -hmm. some commercial reason? I was. Th I'm pretty sure it was human activity. Uh, but uh, I never actually looked into the reason for it. I was just assuming it was us. You know. Um, Is that, can we go to the campsites there? Let's see. Yeah, because that thing's screeching, but it didn't sound like it was screeching at us. No, it's too quick. Like, too quick. But yeah. I've watched some stuff on the... Those fisher cats love to go for other predators. They love to go for coyotes and, and uh, fox. Interesting. They're, uh, they'll go for cats. They, you know, we have like a lot of turkeys over here. And they said, uh, now that you got those fisher cats here, they said not for long. They said they gorge on those turkeys. They said it may get the Canadian geese population to go down too. Yeah. So, because those things will eat the Canadian geese, which we have in abundance here too. I still feel, I swear I've seen with my eyes like a flicker of light on the path. Yeah. It's weird how you, you'll just get like these, a little flicker of light. Well, the moon is bright, yeah. and I mean, that could really be reflecting off anything or coming through the trees in a certain way. Could be off the flashlight, a bug. It's possible. Because if it doesn't pick up on the camera, and I'm not sure if it did, I was looking over top of the cameras at the time. So I have this tendency on this here where I'm staring between the two cameras and sometimes I'm looking over top of them. Okay. So once we get to the big open area, or uh, actually I think maybe the, the first campsite we come to. See, like, straight through here, I can see pretty deep back into the woods, and uh, see if you can see anything. I'll try to scan a little bit this way and scan the six. Some of with this, like I'm seeing where this thing is picking up the hot spot, and I'm trying to cross reference with the bottom camera. And like I can tell, like something is not an animal because I'm picking up in the bottom camera. Oh, right over this way.
Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. We should uh, get on that trail closer to the creek. Yeah, and then absolutely. We'll see if we can come back this way once we, we hit it, maybe. Yeah. It's absolutely, well, it's like over this way. way. But I can't, I can't pick up anything. It's too far out of the range. So, so this is one of the camping sites. Let's head back here. see the little pathway over that way and then we got this way yeah it does but we can try to catch a little bit further into the woods because then that just curves, it just ends. Okay. Sorry, I'm breathing onto the camera. See, we, the creek is actually kind of moving pretty good, like you'd be able to hear it if we were close. And uh, we're not close enough to hear it. You got something? No, I'm just saying, oh. this yeah. connects this. to one of the other camps. Oh. Yeah. This is... Canadian geese. Mm. That definitely may be well Fisher and Bobcat go for them. Which is sad because like they're just starting to have their uh, yeah, eggs hatch. Seen the juvenile geese. Yeah. So with with one of those critters also all the the only thing the, the adult birds can do is fly away. Because especially with a, like those animals, you're not going to bluff them. Like geese are, geese can bluff a lot of animals, but not, not those ones. something over this way. I heard a stick break. Thick this is. You're not gonna see much through here. Yeah. That just means it's hey I actually think this may mean it goes to the this may go down to the creek.
gosh, that's a big tree. I'm walking through, walking through webs. thick it's hard to see through whoa look at this guy coming down oh yep wants to say hello dumb little spider Spider webs on the camera. Oh, the battery connect, uh, battery pack connected to the power tack is definitely working. Okay. This is one of the campsites. I think I can hear a little bit of the water in the background now. So this is like the open area that we'd come to by the pavilion. Because yep, there is the stream, the river, you can see it. You can see the water very clearly. Uh, the uh, thermal really picks up the river. Mm hmm. Yep. So. <sighs> now this is Yep. Just trying to see. It's picking up the tree as the hottest spot in the area. Yeah. That's probably a game trail. through here. Ah, I just got a web right across the face, right across the glasses. That's what, you can smell this tree. Mm. Wait, there you go. I heard the scream again. It was back behind us. Huh. Well, something's over there having a fit. Okay. So this is definitely some different scenery. Haven't taken you guys down these paths. You see there's a trail leading to the water. I can see the thermal, I can see, I can see through there exactly where it's going.
here's that spot with the pine tree dead ahead. We came down here and checked it out in the daylight, so we could check some different areas out. This is one of the camp, another one of the campsites. Anyone looking for an interesting place to camp out? See, I've caught a lot of stuff in the woods over here. But darned if I can see anything now. Let's I'm gonna go out onto the main path. Or you wanna go this way? Yeah. Go this way. campsite now eventually this gets like blocked off so I think this is like where we have to go out to the main path there's another dead yeah it dead ends because okay. like there's trees that fell down there and they've never removed them so because this is where we this is why we walked in this way earlier Scan uh, left, I'll scan right. Right is this is the way where we went earlier. Well, if you're wondering why I'm going quickly, it's because I. I have a thermal that is, you can very quickly tell from the uh, heat signatures or lack thereof. Uh, seen a lot of critters. It was about over here where I think the deer ran and ran out and climbed up the hill and then uh, caught the rest of its herd over here. Isn't that where the mucky, yes. Boggy, you know? Yeah, it literally was on the other side of it and I scared the heck out of it and it freaking like jumped that and went up there. That's steep as well. Yeah, that's that is real yeah, steep. And it, I, it got up to the top, mm -hmm. and I caught the eye shine, and we were sitting there staring at me, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, that looks... I was able to see the whole body with my light. Mm -hmm. So through here... Seems like all my hikes I'm catching some kind of screeching or screaming going on. I don't think that, that first set of screeching and screaming you heard was quite as loud as that one on the other video. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was anyway. So, and I am trying to keep an eye on both cameras. This is why I need you guys, because um, I'm not the best multitasker. <laughs> so, and just because we scan it with IR and thermal, doesn't mean we didn't miss anything, and especially hearing 
or two veterans who've worked around a lot of loud engines and gunfire and all kinds of stuff like that. So we tend to miss some noises. And with what I found, uh, I've had in three different videos now, we've had the disembodied voices. So please listen and hope you stuck with this. Listen all the way to the end because we never know. There it goes. up on the ridge. That's what I see. I'm trying to scan up. I can't see too much through the... Jeez. That sounded like a... There's a bunch of screeches there. That's what I said. Watch all the way to the end. <laughs> Holy crap. It, sounded, it could have been a couple of critters. I don't know. That sounded like two. Yeah. Maybe, and you don't even maybe know. Maybe someone was infringing on somebody's hunting ground. It could have been two of them. Or there was some other weird kind of scream in the midst of that. It could have been something get a, getting a hold of prey. Could, uh, I think it was just a shadow. I think I was scanning over here when you were moving the light. Oh. And it looked like uh, something come across the path. Huh. It was just a, just a shadow from the sweeping of the flashlight. Oh. Yeah, that's my fault. I gotta communicate. <laughs> well, with the, the way that this responds, like it, it takes a few seconds, yeah. it would be hard to, you know what I mean, to pick it up. Okay. Real quick, anyway. And a bug just go right in my mouth. Fighting Yeah, well. Um, so you can see yeah. this is. A, is that one of the markers, or is that just a stick or a tree? That looks like just a broken just a tree. Broken tree right there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it pretty good on the camera. Okay. So I've actually cut stuff out near the road, too. Deer. Mm. I've actually cut deer up here. So, I mean, it was pretty darn close to the road. I got, like, this is right next to the hill. I do gotta say, if I didn't have you with me, I probably wouldn't have stayed out here as long and would have missed some of that. Because I definitely wouldn't have went in some of the areas. I'd have stuck to the main path. like and subscribe and share again we're out i'm gonna walk out onto a dark 
dirt road up to a covered bridge. Okay. What do you got? I think there was that cat. It was small. Huh. I'm pretty sure it was that cat. Huh. Didn't we see a cat right when we yeah. came down this road? Yeah, it was down here. Yeah, it was right, right there in the mid-distance. And it dived into uh, the grass there. Okay, even when we get onto the road, man. Can't really, uh... Now, I thought I heard... Did you hear anything? Over the dang train. I thought I heard a coyote howl. No, I didn't. That darn train. You gotta watch your step on this road. Because. Wait. I can't hear anything. Just watch your step on this. There's some deep potholes. I said uh, the uh, path is in the woods is smoother than this road. Don't want to have done so well. Mm -hmm. You can actually see on the thermal. You can see the picking up the potholes. It's so thick. I can't even like the thermal can't see through this. We got a covered bridge straight ahead. process of trying to get permission to go through Tinker's Hollow. Uh, the property owner is uh, uh, how do I say very selective on who he'll let on there but I do have a couple of the people who he will let on there trying to let me have access. Okay. So that'll be, yeah. So I can actually scan the field and see the car. This is a state game land. Car. All right, did I get off the road? Let's see, thank you for watching. There's our covered bridge we'll close on. Like, subscribe, and share. It's going to kick up a bunch of dust when it goes by. Thank you for watching. God bless you.